I know that you obviously want to talk about the budget. Can I just ask for your thoughts first on what's happening on the markets? Because clearly there's a bit of concern out there with Credit Suisse, bearing in mind that Jeremy Hunt had to take pretty drastic action over the weekend as regards the Silicon Valley Bank. Yeah, I mean, look, you'll be aware, I'm afraid, that uh, it wouldn't be appropriate for ministers to comment on that. Uh, the PRA, the Bank of England, uh, obviously monitor the, monitor the situation closely. They, 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 they do that all, at all times, and I'm sure they're doing that now. And obviously, the Bank of England will uh, obviously look at the breakers in the banking system and so on, but clearly a worry that the, the markets have taken fright on the day that Jeremy Hunt has put the economic picture out there for everyone. On that picture, the big picture, um, he's saying that the economy on the right track. However, looking at the details, still a 0.2% contraction this year, according to the OBR. Yeah, they're saying, they're confirming that they expect the UK to avoid a recession, uh, to return to growth thereafter, growth of 2.5% by 2025. That shows that the actions that we're taking are working. We've seen inflation forecasts reduce on track to deliver the Prime Minister's uh, target of halving inflation this year. Uh, and this was a budget very much built on those firm foundations and allowing us to look at how we grow the UK economy. And on that, you will know there'll be many Tory backbenchers asking why no tax cuts to try and stimulate that growth and indeed corporation tax, as feared, uh, staying in place with an increase up to 25%. Yeah, there were lots of measures today that are going to help the economy grow. Uh, and they were focused on getting more people back into work, into the workforce. Uh, big support for childcare, uh, an extension of that. Uh, and also support for those businesses that are investing to reduce their level of tax. So uh, lots, lots there to help uh, the strategy of growing the economy. Paul Johnson from the IFS, the Institute of Fiscal Studies, called the uh, various allowances on uh, business taxes as tinkering. Do you agree with him? Well, it's a £25 billion support. It uh, extends for the next three years. It allows business to, businesses to fully expense the cost uh, of those investments that they're going to make to grow. Uh, so I don't agree with Paul Johnson at all. I think it's a, a very much uh, a positive bid budget for business. Uh, there's also support for the fastest growing parts of our economy, whether that's artificial intelligence, uh, quantum or massive uh, processing computing. Uh, and as I said, Lots of measures to help get people either back into the workforce or stay there longer. So uh, increased uh, removing the caps on pensions so uh, hospital consultants can continue to uh, cut those waiting lists uh, and a big package uh, for parents to allow them to have childcare from nine months right up until the point their child starts school. Now, this is a, a proper budget, not a fiscal event, so therefore the, the OBR, the Office for Budget Responsibility, will be marking the Chancellor's homework. We're just getting more from them, uh, and they're saying that living standards still expected to fall by the largest amount since records began, real household disposable income per person to fall by a cumulative 5.7% over the uh, next two financial years up to 2024. This is not going to make people feel any better, is it? Well, there's a lot here that's going to help people with the cost of living. Freezing for yield duty uh, for the 13th successive year. Um, the uh, reduction in the, the, the great the Brexit pub guarantee that's going to reduce the price uh, of a pint in a pub compared with buying the same drink in a supermarket um, and obviously extending the energy price guarantee uh, into the summer to protect people from their energy bills. So we've, we've come from some very difficult uh, circumstances during Covid uh, and then subsequently during the consequences of Putin's war in, in, in Ukraine uh, we've put the equivalent of £6,000 per person to support the economy, to support households, uh, and there's more help with the cost of living there from the Chancellor today.